Hey folks, sorry it's been a while since I've put anything out there, uh, but I'm going to do a tutorial right now in relation to a fan film I've been working on. And this is a little bit of a spoiler for the fan film, but uh, it involves the, as you can see here, these are the Dejarc pieces from A New Hope from the Hollow Chess board that have somehow come to life and are rampaging through the Millennium Falcon's cockpit. And uh, it's for um, Star Wars is having, dot com is having a upcoming fan film competition. So when this is done, I'll show it to you guys and hopefully you guys will vote for me and stuff. So in this shot, let me show you the final shot here. All right, so let's get to the beginning here. So in this shot, uh, the Imperial Star Destroyers are coming up over the cockpit of the Falcon here. And as you can see here, these things are very, very big and far away. These guys are very small and towards the foreground. So to light everything correctly and have everything work out and stuff, it, it would be very messy to have this all in one scene. So as you can see here in this scene, all that's in here is the cockpit and those pieces. So we need to find a way to render this over top of the background that we had already rendered. All right, here's, we had rendered this. I reframed it obviously because it, it didn't have enough dynamism. So, but basically uh, I've rendered this as its own separate scene with its own separate lighting and, and uh, settings and rendered it out as a series of images. So now we need to find a way to composite it in here. And uh, so the, the way to do that, I found that's the easiest Supposedly you can do it by, by selecting an image for the world here, but it doesn't seem to work. So this is the best, easiest way to do it, I think. You just go to your video editing tab, all right? And by default, nothing should be in here. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is add that uh, background that you rendered. Uh, in this case, I rendered a series of images. And so I'm just gonna add it as an image strip. So I hit Shift A and go to image. And then I'll go to my renders. And here it is. So I'll hit B to band select everything and hit add image strip. As you can see here, this actually goes longer than my original animation. That's okay. Uh, so now we have the background. If we were to render this, we would just get the background, but uh, that's not going to help us. So we need to have the scene objects, these solid objects, occlude the background. So in order to do that, hit shift A. And as you can see here, there's scene and we have our open scene there and it comes up as a green strip make sure it's on top of the background image and then when you render it the scene stuff will be over top uh, of the image anywhere that there's would be an alpha channel anywhere that's transparent like in this case the windshield of the cockpit you're going to see the background image through um, in order to get this to show up there's one last thing you need to do and you need to go down here under your render tab uh, to film and make sure that this is checkmarked. Transparency needs to be checkmarked. All right. So uh, once you do those things and you render it out, you're going to see everything exactly the way you would expect. So that's all you have to do there. Um, if you were to be working with this and you wanted to see the background image as you're working, uh, maybe you want to synchronize what's with what's going on in the outside world, uh, you can easily add a background image. Just hit um, hit N here and Go down under display, uh, under background images here. You have to check mark that to make it active. Then you can add an image. Uh, if we add an image right now, I can go ahead and go to renders. Okay. One thing is when you move it, it's just, it's static. You see the background image is not updating. Now you can change this to image sequence. You can set it to auto refresh. If you click on match movie length, as you see, nothing happens. You tell it to start at frame zero. That's where I have my animation starting. As you can see, it doesn't work correctly. I found out that the only way this works correctly is in fact with a movie clip. So if we go ahead and change this instead to movie clip, and then we open this. Oops, sorry. Let me let me get one from, that one doesn't have a lot of movement. So let me, oops. that one does not have a lot of movement. So let's get something completely different. Let's get this Jaeger from uh, Pacific Rim here. And then we check mark camera clip, uncheck that. So now when you move through, you can see that the background is animating. So now you could, for example, you could synchronize what's going on with your current scene with what's going on in the rendered background. 
All right, so that's actually two tutorials in one. I had to make up for all the lost time. So you guys better run around. The, the Jaeger's coming for the Millennium Falcon. In fact, that might be a funny animation to do later. But uh, so those are two tips. Um, again, let's go through it. If you want to uh, render the background image into your scene, simply go to your video editor, hit Shift A, uh, hit your image sequence or movie if you rendered it as a movie, and then hit Shift A again and add your empty scene or your opening scene. Uh, remember, you can actually create more than one scene. So you could have scenes on top of scenes in here and nest them and stuff. And then finally, go to your render tab and make sure that transparent is checked. And then everything should be hunky-dory. And then of course, if you wanna see what you're working on in your scene view, just hit N, oh, sorry, sorry. Hit N and uh, import a movie clip and make sure you uncheck camera clip or else you won't see, well, the camera clipping is what is making that not show up. So just uncheck camera clip and you'll be fine. And then you can scrub through it. Uh, okay, so I hope that these uh, tips help you out and uh, film will be done by middle September. It has to because that's the deadline. I hope you guys vote for me. Uh, take care.